dumpster or no, uh, no dumpster. Let's bring in Dr. Lori. How are you doing? Hi, Carly. I'm great. I'm great. <laughs> So I love what you have in front of you there because uh, it's all about road trips these days. Maybe some families, a lot of schools starting, I think, next week. So there's still some time to get a little bit of a road trip in. But uh, that's that's some good stuff there. Yeah, you know, you can you can get in the car and you have to have a little bit other than I spy out the window, you know, which cars and the colors and stuff. You know, when my family a million years ago would go on road trips and we'd all be bored in the car, you know, my father would be driving and driving. My father once drove to Montreal, Canada. We stayed an hour and then he drove home to Connecticut. Oh. Like, oh, you know. So we played games anyway. Yeah, my dad loved to drive, but we didn't stay anywhere very long. Oh, I love that. How the car games are really popular and the car games are a lot of fun today because, you know, our kids are used to, you know, video games. They're always on a screen. So it's kind of good for the tactile, you know, for them yeah. to something and using their brains in a different way. Yep. I love that. I, we need to keep that alive and thriving. There are some uh, more current uh, games I think you can do in the road too, but yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't have my counterpart here this morning, so I'm gonna to attempt to play on my own. Okay, okay. Let's, okay. Yeah, I'm, let's, I'm playing with everybody uh, at home this morning. That's right, you know, on the Facebook page at, of course, Morning Blend, Tampa Bay's Morning Blend, you know, a lot of people will say, no, I'd love to play along, Dr. Lori. I'd love to see whether my stuff should go in the dumpster or not, <laughs> so. Okay, hey. so let's get to it. We have a couple of objects. We're gonna start with item number one. Ooh, what is that? Okay, so now this item actually, the, this is a fish baking dish. It dates to the 1950s. It was made in a place called Alfred, New York by the Glidden Parker Company. And this is a baking dish. So basically what you would do is you would take all that great seafood that you have in Tampa Bay and you put it together with some butter and maybe some breadcrumbs and you'd make a fish basic dish and you would bake it. Now, you put it all together and you put it, that top comes off. And when the top comes off, the inside actually is of course the skeleton of the fish. <laughs> It's a really great baking dish. I was going to say, that's cool. It's I've really never seen cool. anything like that. Yeah, well, actually, um, a very famous person collected those. Her name was Lucille Ball, oh. and okay. she collected Glidden, and that's a piece of Glidden, and it's a baking dish. So maybe it's in your basement, or maybe it's at the thrift store, um, but it is, of course, uh, glazed ceramic, and you could use it for baking. Was there a lot of nautical-themed stuff in that brand? Yes, there's a lot of nautical themed stuff in the 1950s. It's a time when we see nature renewal and the sea because we see the sea as a renewing property. Uh, basically, a lot of that after World War II and the post-war world. It's kind of you're talking about some of the stuff that I researched during my when I was writing my books, my PhD and such. So very, very interesting piece. Is it a dumpster or no dumpster, Carly? No dumpster. I think it's more than fifty dollars. That's right. It's a no dumpster. I gave you an easy one because Natalie's not here to help. Oh, you thank you. Know. you. <laughs> <laughs> Value on that piece is two hundred and fifty dollars. It's quite rare for Glidden, and it's a big piece, and it's in beautiful, beautiful condition. So thanks to well, the I think it'd be popular today. I think a lot of people. You talk about kind of a, this new era that we're in, and maybe you know going back to nature and whatever. I think we're right back at it. So I think everything's cyclical. I think that's right in line with today. That's right. Everything's cyclical. We see these patterns of what we like. And of course, nautical themes always popular. Summer, yeah. winter, fall, it doesn't matter. You know, that's a really nice piece, but you knew it, you knew it. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, thanks for giving me an easy one. That is cool, I hadn't seen anything like that. All right, okay. item number two, let's see if I have uh, as good. Ooh, this is interesting. Is this recipes? So that's a bisquick, you know, bisquick, of course, uh -huh. the, the flour, the, the quick biscuit mix. Um, that's a biscuit recipe box. So an advertising collectible, this particular piece, you could actually cut away the box tops when you bought Bisquick after you're done, send them in and they would send you a recipe box. You open it up and you have the little recipe cards. I know a lot of people collect advertising things. I think that's, I know it's a really popular market. And that particular piece is lithographed tin. So it's a tin box. And then they make an actual image, right? And then they lithograph that print goes right on top of the metal. That quality, looks, that quality looks pretty good. 
it looks pretty good. It's very indicative of mass produced pieces from the 1960s to the 1980s. This piece probably dates to the late 70s, early 1980s. What do you think, dumpster or no dumpster? Well, you threw me when you just said mass produced because that makes me think that there's a lot of them. There were a lot of them. Oh, I feel like it's right on the edge. It's going to be one of those that's worth like either $45 or $55. I don't oh, know. see how good you're getting? You're getting so good that you can even get it into a range. <laughs> you're so good, Carly. <laughs> that's what I'm you're gonna say, up, you know, you're watching. I'm going to say dumpster on the guideline that there are many of them. Okay. It's worth $25. So typically okay. it's a dumpster. <laughs> yeah, dumpster. Yeah. Is that what I said? That's what I meant. <laughs> you did say that. You did say okay. that. You know, they look cute in the kitchen, on the cabinet, on the counter, on the on the uh, shelves. You know, they look cute um, sort of as decorations in uh, kitchen Anna, we call it. People like kitchen collectibles. It reminds of this mom's kitchen or grandma's kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I feel like going back to the advertising, like Coke and Sprite and some of those iconic brands are extremely valuable, aren't they? Oh, when you find oh, good yeah. quality. Nabisco, like saltines, right? Um, um, National Biscuit is what it was called. We call it Nabisco now, but those types of things. And yes, as you said, Coca-Cola and Pepsi and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. sure. All right. Last but not least, let's Last see. I can be three for three today. Okay. Ooh. This is a serving or cookie server. So this is, you put a doily down on this depression glass, pink depression glass server plate. You put a little doily down and then you serve cookies or my family would serve Italian pastry, you know, on this. Not for cake, it's for cookies or pastries or some other type of dessert. It's a serving plate. I feel like there's a lot of this glass out there, both pink and kind of that light green too. Yes. Like is it Yes, a lot of depression glass out there. And depression glass actually is not only made during the depression of the 30s, it's also made up until the latter part of the 1950s, all the way through the 40s and 50s. We still call it depression glass, but that's a piece of depression glass. And yes, the pink is very, very popular. Uh, uh, hard. A little harder today? Well, that one, I feel like if it had other stuff with it, because I know it's always good when you have a set, but because it's by itself, I'm going to say that it's under 50 and dumpster. That's a no dumpster, Carly. Uh, that piece is worth $85. And that okay. is, of course, a serving piece, which makes it a little bigger. And, of course, it has the impress handles and all the impressed decoration depression glass is still collectible people like it it looks pretty in the kitchen but you did great today it does all right i'll take two for three dr Lori. always a treat when you're here where can people find because this is if you like game shows like me you can do this all along with dr Lori because she does that's this on right. her social media pages that's right i do this on my youtube channel which is dr Lori v and our website has all kinds of information about valuing your antiques and collectibles mm. And of course, right here on Wednesdays with you folks. No, well, thank you, Dr. Lori. We will see you next week. In the meantime, find her on social media and we will certainly post the